So now the differential calculus 10 marks question we are going to see now. We are going to discuss the 10 marks question in differential calculus. That is application part 1. So as I told you, we will be getting 2 10 marks from differential calculus. So under the topic understanding, sorry, under the topic applications and skills. So the first 10 mark question under the topic applications we are going to see now. So the, the skills problem will uh, do it later on. Okay, now we are going to see one of the application problem in differential calculus. So there, uh, the first section of the differential calculus I have given you that rate of change. So which means that we are with respect to t we are differentiating every part. Here the problem given here is first read the question carefully then you can able to solve that problem very very easily. So a water tank has the shape of an inverted circular cone with base radius 2 meters and height 4 meters. If water is being pumped into the tank at a rate of 2 meter cube per minute, find the rate at which the water level is rising when the water is 3 meter deep. So this is the thing we are going to find out. Actually there is a one cone with uh, height 4 meters and radius 2 meters. Now we are filling the water into that uh, circular cone tank, just like a tank. We are just pouring the water into it at the rate of 2 meter cube per minute. That is, your given data first one is dv by dt is equals to 2 meter cube per minute. Now my aim, my job is to find out the rate at which the water level is rising when the water is 3 meter deep. So the depth of the water is 3 meter. Now I am going to find out the at which level, at which rate the water level is rising. That is I am going to find out dh by dt. Okay. Let us take V be the volume, V be the volume of a cone or V the radius of a cone and H be the height of a cone. Okay. Then we can say your volume of a cone is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. Here by using the properties of similar triangle, the triangles, so I already uh, draw the figure. So this is your radius of a given cone and a height that is 4. This is I have taken that smaller cone which is radius is r and height h. Now by the property of similar triangles, property of similar triangles, I can say your r by h is equals to 2 by 4. Is it right? Which is equals to 1 by 2. Therefore, I can say your r is equals to h by 2. Is it right? We can substitute r is equals to h by 2. Therefore, this equation becomes v is equals to 1 by 3 pi r square. That becomes h square by 4 into h. Otherwise, we can say 1 by 3 pi 1 by 3 4s are 12, right? Pi h cube. Now you differentiate. We will get dv by dt is equals to 1 by 12 pi. Differentiating h cube will get 3 h square into dh by dt. Now our main aim is to find out what is dh by dt. That's all. That if you find out dh by dt, that is the rate at which the water level is rising when the water is 3 meter deep. Now we can say which is equals to 4 times cancel. Therefore we will have dv by dt is equals to 4 pi h square into dh by dt. Substitute the values. We know dv by dt is equals to what? 2 meter cube per minute. And we know at what, what is at what level? 3 meter depth. Therefore, your dv by dt, since your dv by dt is equals to 2 meter cube per minute and your uh, height h depth is equals to 3 meter substituting we will get 2 is equals to 4 pi into h square that is 3 square which is equals to 9 into dh by dt therefore if we can get cancel 2 therefore 1 by 8 2s are 18 pi is equals to dh by dt so that is the thing I am going to find out dh by dt that is nothing but the rate at which the water level is rising therefore the rate the rate at which the rate at which the water level the water level is rising is 1 by 18 pi meter per second 1 by 
18.5 meter per second is the answer. Okay, 1 by 18.5 meter per second is given that which is equals to h square, which is equals to 3h square. Therefore, we are putting h square is equals to 9. We are getting 1 by 18.5 meter per second. So, this is how the first problem, a water tank has the shape. The water tank has the shape of a inverted circular cone with base radius 2 meters and height 4 meters. If water is being pumped into the tank at a rate of 2 meter cube per minute, find the rate at which the water level is rising. So, first of all, let us take down what are the given data. Take down the data are given. So, two things are given. First one, here it is the rate of the dv by dt is given, that is 2 minutes per meter cube. So, 2 meter cube per minute and the height and radius are given, 4 meters and 2 meters. Now, I am selecting R and H be the uh, uh, height and radius of the given cone. Then, I am taking that your volume of a cone is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h and differentiating with rate of change and we are getting the answer dh by dt as 1 by 18.5 meter second. So, it is a very simple problem. You can very easily you can solve the problem, right? We will pass on to the next problem based on your angle of intersection, angle between the curves. So, angle between the curves, I have given the last two nodes. One is if one m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1, then we can say the curves are perpendicular to each other. If m1 is equal to m2, then I can say the curves are parallel, okay? Next one. So, take down the next problem. If the curves if the curves, if the curves if the curves y square is equal to x and x y is equal to k intersect intersect each other orthogonally each other orthogonally then through that 8k square is equal to 1. So, please listen in this chapter this is one of the easiest question you can uh, solve it very quickly as fast as you as you like because one more thing I am going to tell you here because this problem is your proof problem, which means that you will be having your answer in your hands. That is, you are going to prove that 8k square equals to 1. If you are not getting 8k square equals to 1, it is wrong. Therefore, we can be able to solve the problem very easily because it is a proof problem. I can going to solve now, okay? Right. So, if the curves y square equals to x and xy is equals to k, intersect each other orthogonally, which means that let us find out the slope for the first curve and find out the slope for the second curve. The product of the slopes is equal to minus 1, then it is the condition for the curves to be cut orthogonally. Now, I am taking your y square is equal to x one side and another path, another side I am taking x y is equal to k. Differentiate 2y into differentiation of uh, y square that is dy by dx is equal to 1. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2y. Now, I am taking at any point dy by dx, that is x1 comma y1, then it should be 1 by 2y1. Say this as m1. Next, differentiate this one, x, differentiating y, we will get dy by dx. So, product rule. Keeping y constant, differentiating x, we will get 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, x dy by dx is equal to minus y or dy by dx is equal to minus y by x. So, now I want dy by dx at x1 comma y1 which is equal to minus y1 by x1 let us say this is equal to m2. As it is given in your according to your problem as it is given in your problem these two curves are cuts orthogonally therefore I can say m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. So, m1 is what 1 by 2 y1 what is m2 minus y1 divided by x1 which is equal to minus 1 minus minus cancel y1, y1 cancel, therefore 2x1 is equal to 1 by 1, 2x1 is equal to 1. From this I can say x1 is equal to 1 by 2. Let us consider the first one, y square is equal to x1. If your y1 square is equal to x1, then I can say your y1 square is equal to 1 by 2. From this I can able to find out y1 is equal to 1 divided by root 2. 
So now we have found out the values of x1 and y1. Let us substitute in the second one. Let us consider 2 implies x1. Let us take this curve as first one, 1. This is 2. Let us consider the second curve x as x1, y1 is equal to k. Substitute the value of x1 which is equal to 1 by 2. What is the value of y1? 1 by root 2 which is equal to k. Therefore, 1 by 2 root 2 is equal to k. Squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides, we will get 1 by 2 square 4, root 2 becomes 2, therefore 1 by 8 is equal to k square, therefore 8k square is equal to 1, hence the proof. So it's a very, very simple problem. Okay, the things we have to do is first thing take the first curve, differentiate and get the slope 1. Differentiate similarly, we can take, go for the second curve and differentiate and get the slope m2. It is given in your problem the two curves are perpendicular to each other, which means orthogonally cuts. Therefore, I can say m1 into m2 equal to minus 1. Substitute the value of m1 and m2. We are getting that your x1 is equal to 1 by 2. Substitute x1 is equal to 1 by 2 in the first curve. I am getting y1 is equal to 1 by root 2. So, finding the values of x1 and y1, substitute in the second curve, we are getting the condition as 8k square is equal to 1. Then that's the proof and hence yes, proof. So, as I told you, it's a very, very simple. Even in a 2 minutes, you can solve the problem. If you are very thorough, you have the thorough knowledge in this problem, you can solve the problem within 2 minutes. Okay?